This solid model example is based on the same geometry that was used in a surface modeling example. So you could bring up that same part, or we've also saved the part called swept one solid. You can open up that file, and here's the base geometry that goes with it. So basically we're going to do the same thing we showed you how to do with surfaces, but now we're going to do it with a solid. So we're going to start by making the basic block. Now you'll see one thing that's different about this is before we had this simple curve here and we did a drafted surface to stretch that out 12 inches. Well in this example we've added two extra lines to close that off as a closed boundary because whenever you're doing anything with solids it looks for closed boundaries. So we're going to do an extrude solid and I'm going to pick that profile and we'll hit enter and it looks like I chained it in the wrong direction so we're going to tell it to reverse the direction and we'll give it a distance here of 12 inches and we'll OK that. So there's the block that we want to have when we're finished and over here we have the circle and here we have the chain that we're going to use to create our tube and for that we're going to create a swept solid and it says to select the first chain. Well, I'm going to pick the circle, and then I'll hit Enter. And for my second path, I'm going to pick the orange chain, and we'll OK that. We'll tell it we're going to create a new solid body. And if I turn on my shading, you can see now we have that tube resting in the block. And all we have to do now is go to our Boolean functions and tell it we want to do a remove. And from this block, which is the target, I want to remove this tube, which is the tool. And that selection, and there is the tube cut away from the block. So you can see that certainly goes a lot faster than doing that with surfaces.